Hey, what's up everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about three common but very costly mortgage marketing practices that are a complete time suck, money suck, and frankly, will be to your own your own peril and your own profit reduction if you allow it to happen. So I want to highlight these because it's super easy to uh, have these time and money sucks, suck your bandwidth, suck your bank account and have fruitless toil. And uh, I, I've seen this time and time again, working with mortgage professionals on the front lines. You know, they mean well, they intend well, but unfortunately they just don't see the landmines because, you know, most mortgage professionals, they're focusing on doing mortgages. They're not seeing the height, the depth, the breadth of the carnage of other mortgage professionals getting their ass kicked doing it the hard way like i do on the front lines as a coach coaching mortgage pros to success for 16 years i get a front row seat on what works and what doesn't and i get a front row seat on the impact of doing it the hard way you know wasting your time banging your head against the wall spinning your wheels not seeing the fruit from your effort uh, the shame and the guilt around sacrificing time, energy, money away from the family with fruitless toil, nothing to show for it, but a jacked up bank account, jacked up credit card account, rather jacked up uh, debt load and not really seeing the fruit from your labor. I don't want that to happen for you because frankly, you guys are here because you're here to win. You're here because you know in your heart you have a dream that you're committed to manifesting and doing it the hard way with fruitless toil obviously flies in the face of that intention and that commitment and you've got a gift to bring you got a gift of excellence to bring to your clients to your partners and to the world but if we're trying to put more water into the bucket with a bunch of gaping holes at the bottom of the bucket that's not going to serve you you're going to be hemorrhaging opportunity you're going to be fruit you know throwing yogurt at the fan hoping something sticks and that will certainly not serve you to break through results in your business you know it i know it so let's get into it and do it shall we let's talk about some of the different things that i've seen on the front lines coaching mortgage pros that cost them dearly in lost money lost time lost energy so that you guys don't have to fall prey to those landmines the first one is focusing on internet leads to the neglect of realtors Focusing on internet leads to the neglect of realtors. So there's nothing necessarily wrong with internet leads. If it's something you're doing as a supplemental way to bring in leads, but obviously not all leads are created equal. You know, you can get a hundred leads from Facebook or you can get a hundred leads from Zillow and you might convert one or two or three of them at best, or you can get five leads from a top producing realtor that are pre-sold on you and predisposed to work with you before you even talk to them by virtue of that emphatic endorsement. And you'll get three to four of them to convert out of five versus one or two or three out of 100 crappy internet leads where you're having to sift through a mountain of gravel just to find a few gold nuggets. You're wasting your time, time you can never get back, by the way sifting and sorting through these people that really don't give a rat's ass about you or what you have to offer. They often have even forgotten why you're calling them and what they did to initiate that request for more information about getting a mortgage. And so it's like pushing soggy noodles up hills. It's like chasing and herding cats. It is not easy. And you end up having a client that usually is unqualified. You're having to do all kinds of backflips just to make the deal fly and your average loan size is a fraction of what it would be if it was a referral from a realtor, they're less likely to refer you, they're more likely to shop you, rate shop you, and be looky lose. And so obviously you're gonna spend way more time with way less profit, with way less fun doing that than having a small stable of top producing realtors, making you their exclusive lenders, sending you all their business all the time, and if you have a team of top producing realtors that you know are sending you one, two, three deals a month, it doesn't take many of those to stack up in a hurry and get you to making freedom money in a hurry, right? You do the math on that. If you're making three G's a pop, each one of those partners is worth you know thirty to fifty thousand dollars plus a year to you. 
you do the math on that, you don't need many of those to get to your income goals, right? So that's the shortest path to the cash to get you to your income goals, not getting a bunch of shit leads off Facebook or buying a bunch of shit leads from Zillow. That's doing it the hard way. So that's one of the common and very costly practices that many mortgage professionals fall prey to is the time and money suck of sifting through a bunch of crap internet leads. Don't let that be you. Take the shortest path to the cash. There's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. The second very common and costly way that mortgage professionals chase their tail with fruitless toil is focusing on blogging and social media posts, in many cases, multiple posts a day to the neglect of taking the shortest path to the cash with attracting top producing realtors. So again, it's the stepping over dollars to pick up dimes syndrome that many mortgage professionals have because they're chasing the bright, shiny objects. You know, they got squirrel syndrome. Squirreling means chasing after the bright, shiny objects, right? Oh, we got that blogging thing here. Okay, I'm going to do blogging. Oh, they got that, you know, new social media thing. I'm going to do that. And oh, there's another social media platform here and another one there. Next thing you know, they're chasing all these bright, shiny objects, doing a bunch of posts, but getting nothing from it, getting very little from it. And they'll often justify by saying, well, everyone else is doing it, so I need to do it too. So it's the me too, follow the herd mentality that has them doing it, not because it's fruitful, not because it's profitable, not because it's worth their time in terms of actual results, but because other people are doing it, everyone else is doing it, so I need to do it too. And if you're following the herd with that me too mentality, I'm here to tell you that the average, the herd is falling off a freaking cliff. You don't want to be one of them. Mediocrity is what the herd is heading towards. You don't want to be one of them. So the very nature of the herd is that they just do what average people do and they get what average people get, which is medio mediocrity and being mediocre. So conventional methods tend to produce conventional results. Obviously, you're not listening to this or watching this to be mediocre or to be conventional and get you know, average results, are you? you? You're here because you wanna get extraordinary results. So it's, I'm not saying that blogging is bad. I'm not saying that social media posting is bad. What I am saying is focus on what's gonna get you maximum profit, maximum results. And the shortest path to the cash is and always will be aligning yourself with top producing agents who are doing 20 plus buyer side transactions a year or at least 15 and have the highest capacity to send you the most amount of buyer clients who need a mortgage now. And once you have that relationship and you are their go-to and they make you their exclusive, you're literally getting one, two, three deals a month per partner every single month like clockwork. And there's nothing that's going to even get close to that kind of return on your time and money, right? Think about it. What else is going to be more profitable than that? But Dorn, I don't like realtors. They're prima donnas. They're drama queens. They all say that they are they already have a lender. They're already married to their lender. You know, it's just a fool's errand, Dorn. I've already tried that. It doesn't work. I can appreciate that. That's like someone who says, I already tried having sex. I didn't like it. Well, you're probably doing it wrong. That's probably why he didn't like it. It doesn't mean that the activity is wrong is that you're doing it wrong. That's why it's not working. Have you considered that? So the reason why it's not working for you is not because it doesn't work. It's because you don't know how to work it. And that just means you haven't cracked the code on it yet. That just means you've been doing it the hard way. But once you learn how to crack the code on it and get you working smart versus just working hard and have you attracting versus chasing, it changes everything. It's the difference between trying to fish with the wrong bait or the wrong lure because you're clueless as a fisherman like I am, where I can be out there all day with my hook and my, my lure in the line in the water and all I am is twiddling my thumbs. No wonder my kids don't like fishing because every time I take them fishing, we come up with nothing, right? It's not because fishing sucks, it's because I suck as a fisherman, right? But if I was to go out with a professional fisherman and I was to learn his secrets on what kind of lure what kind of bait uh, with what kind of jig or what kind of, you know, play with the, what do you call that thing? I guess it's a rod, right? <laughs> you have to do a special play with the rod 
and a special play with your reel or whatever, right? I open my mouth, I advertise my ignorance because I'm clueless, right? That's why I suck at fishing. But if I was really committed to being an avid fisherman and being a successful fisherman, I would read books. I would, you know, maybe get a guide. I'd go out with someone who's better than me. I'd get some coaching on it. Uh, maybe I would watch some YouTube videos. There's probably tons of information out there, but unfortunately there's not much information that's worth executing that actually gives you the secret sauce when it comes to your mortgage business. You can learn how to become a better fisherman by, you know, reading blogs and, and going onto YouTube and watching some free YouTube videos about fishing. But when it comes to actually learning how to crack the code on attracting top producing realtors to make you their exclusive, that's not an easy code to crack. If it was, I wouldn't be in business for 16 years helping mortgage professionals do exactly that because they just go to YouTube and they just read a free blog and lickety split, they'd have it nailed. But obviously that is just not the case. It's not an easy code to crack. So that's why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals come to us at mortgagemarketingcoach.com is to learn how to crack that code. So they don't have to do a blog post every week themselves, grinding, doing it the hard way, trying to come up with the content. They don't have to you know, do a social media post five times a day to try and get traction on social media. They don't have to try and reinvent the wheel, trying to figure out what it is that's the compelling hook, the compelling value proposition that's going to get these top producing realtors to pay attention and eat out of their hand. They can just stick their key in the ignition and drive away with a proven plan. And that's precisely why they hire us, because they know it's going to be a whole lot more expensive to learn from their own mistakes than to learn from an expert. It's going to be a whole lot more costly and expensive to step on their own landmines unnecessarily having appendages blown off than to have a roadmap and to have a GPS to know where the landmines are so they can steer clear of them. And so obviously that's the shortest path to the cash is to have a proven plan up front versus trial and error. So that's the second big time suck, money suck you want to avoid is doing all the minutia of blogging and coming up with content and all these social media posts without getting results. That's a waste of freaking time. Why don't you just avoid that and get straight to what works, which is getting in front of these top producing agents with the right hook, the right value proposition, have them eating out of your hand and flip the script so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. How cool would that be? Where instead of you feeling like you're groveling and chasing and begging and hoping they might, you know, let a crumb fall off, fall off the table so you can eat for a day and have some, you know, crap loan or rather crap lead that they send you because you're their last resort loan officer, you can start getting the best clients, the ones everyone wants, the most coveted clients, the ones that are the conventional clients, the ones that are higher average loan size clients the ones that are pre-sold on you before you even talk to them, the ones that are grateful and give you emphatic praise and give you five-star reviews and do repeat business and send you their friends and family. You might be thinking, Doran, that sounds like a freaking pipe dream. Yeah, it's a pipe dream because you've been doing it the hard way. It's time to step into working smart, my friend. It's the difference between grinding up the 20-story staircase, trying to get to your dream income with a 50-pound backpack, sweating your balls off or buns off, depending on your gender, doing it the hard way versus just pressing the P button on the elevator and going straight to making prosperity money, penthouse money right from the start. So the next one, the last one that I want to highlight for you guys, the big time suck you want to avoid and certainly money suck as well is doing paid ads to, to the neglect of attracting top producing realtors once again. So paying for ads could be Google AdWords. It could be a radio ad. It could be a billboard on, you know, a bus, a bus billboard or something like that, bus chair or bus uh, booth, whatever you call that. It could be paying for uh, pay-per-click on Facebook or Google AdWords. There's lots of different paid advertising options out there. And I'm not saying they're wrong or bad. So make sure you guys are doing the basics before you go for the exotics. The basics is picking up the dollars before you start picking up dimes. Let's pick up dollars before we pick up dimes. How do we do that? Focus on the shortest path to the cash. That's top producing agents who are making you their exclusive. But on top of that, getting these rock star realtors making you their exclusive and being your brand ambassador. 
There's no higher paying activity than that, friends, not to mention not just monetary income, but psychic income. Cool cats who love and adore you, they love and adore you. You love and adore them, they love and adore you. And just that synergy, that chemistry that has magic happen and sparks fly in, right? That's the magic you want to cultivate and create. The question is how? Well, that's precisely why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us. So if you're watching this right now, you're like, Dorn, I get it. I don't want to be paying for crap leads. I don't want to be wasting my time sifting through a mountain of gravel to find a, you know, just a few gold nuggets. I don't want to have to, you know, work with a bunch of unqualified uh, prospects that are just rate shopping who I have to chase. I don't want to have to do a five posts a day on social media. I don't want to have to take 20 hours just to do one blog post, just to only have five people watch it. I don't want to do all that crap that doesn't work, Dorn. I want to go straight to what works. And I want to be able to do that consistently and persistently every single day and have the ability to have my income continue to climb. So I'm making more money in one month than I used to make in three, four, five, six months. If that's you and you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're picking down, putting down, but I need to learn more about how to actually start working smarter, not harder. I'm sick and tired of doing it the hard way. If that's you, you're watching or listening to the right podcast episode because that's precisely why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us. And the next step in the process to learn whether or not we can help you is to go ahead and book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. What you'll be able to do is get on my calendar or one of my consultants' calendars will actually get on the phone and have a real talk, honest conversation. That's all it is. Just a real talk, honest conversation about where you're at now in your business and where do you want to take it. And we're going to identify the gap between where you are and where you want to be. And if we can help you bridge that gap, then we're going to absolutely show you what that looks like. If not, we will be the first to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way, though, you'll leave that meeting with massive value. Chances are more value, more clarity on a one hour call than you've ever had in your entire mortgage career. And you will leave with the clarity on what it really takes to create a breakthrough in your business. And chances are we'll have some fun. So if that sounds worthwhile and meaningful to you, go ahead and book the call. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. So that's all we got for today, friends. Just short and sweet and punchy and to the point. We just talked about the three common and costly mortgage marketing practices that are a complete waste of time, energy, and money that you want to avoid. Not that those things aren't worth doing, but do them after you're kicking ass and taking names and chewing bubble gum and crushing it, making freedom money, liberate your spouse money, do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want money. Once you're making half a million to a million plus per year, you can do those exotics. But for now, let's focus like a laser beam on the basics the basics that'll make you freaking rich. If you're gonna work, you might as well get rich. So start with that, then we can start adding on the exotics. Make sense, guys? My name is Dorn Aldana, coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. I trust you got value from this. If Again, if you wanna learn more about what we can do for you, book a call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Talk to you soon, see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.